Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my tutorial that I'm going to show you here on how to ghost edit large high def files into an NLE editor so that you can um, preview what you're doing um, real smooth. One of the problems with all the high def files nowadays is the uh, computers are actually uh, good enough and fast enough to render you know because it just takes a certain amount of time but to edit them and have them preview smoothly that's a different story so here we go okay here's a graphic I made see the large video files folder that's where the high def file is going to be the 1280 by 720 I'm going to convert it and I use MPEG stream clip it's a free one and it's really slick it does a uh, has a wide variety of output file formats and I'm going to edit it down to 320 by 180 which is still a 16 by 9 aspect into this folder called small video files and then I'm going to use my NLE video editor. I use Sony Vegas. And I'm going to drag these small video files into the editor. And the editor is going to look into the small video files folder for the file name and the cut points in the, each file, the transition points, and all that information. It's going to look in the small video file folder. And then what I'm going to do is take the, the files out of the small video file folder, throw them down into here to the small hold, and then take the large files and put those into the small video file and then render my project and it, the editor will look into the small file folder for the files to render to make my finished piece and that's how it goes so here we go um, I first bring up stream clip we're going to we have to down convert these large files into small ones and let's see where are we Ghost edit large. Okay, here they are. Select both of them. I'm going to export them to MPEG. Now, one important note is they have to uh, the large and the small files have to be the same name, and they have to have the same extension. They have to be the same name and the same type of video file. So I'm going to put them down to MP4. Uh, right down here into small video file. Hit OK. Uh, 320 by 180. That is a really small 16 by 9 size, but you know if you want to go up one, um, I can't remember all my measurements, but uh, you figure it out. Everything else is good. I don't even need any audio. I'm going to put a music. I'm going to put music over this. To batch and go. Now here's the first one, and it should run pretty fast. These aren't that big of files. The large files are, I think, 13. Here we can look. Well, that's. Um, large ones. They are 13 and 14 meg. Okay, and the second file is just about done. And I th think they're going to be around 300k. Okay, very good. All done with that. Go down here to the small folder. 270K and 365K. Very small. Now let's bring them into a video project. Explore. Refresh my file view. Go down here to the small files. There they are. And drag them up into the project. Now I'll drag a, a large file up here as well so we can see how that previews. All right, now. Give me just a second and I will do some quick editing. I'll make about a 15 to 19 second video out of this. Go down to my Creative Commons music. Get Painted Dream by Dada Weatherman. Weatherman, media generator. Get some text in here. I'll put some text at the beginning and the end. Kind of a, let's see, we'll call it. Ghost edit sample. And then we'll throw another one in at the end, kind of a thank you for watching sort of thing. Thanks for. That's a funny text. How did he do that? I guess it's not. Oh, I didn't bold it. Gotta bold it. Definitely gotta bold it. 
There we go. Looking good. Okay, some quick editing. Hold the audio down. Shorten that up. And these clips, I've already looked at them. They're about 10 seconds a piece. I'll bust them down to about half their size. Uh, lay them over. Here I'll do a nice big transition. Transitions are where the previews really, really um, run slow when you're editing high def files. Let's do a barn door transition. Can't beat the barn door. Except the defaults. So we got an intro. It's five seconds. And the out piece. That's ten seconds. We'll cut that in half. Uh, put a little fade in at the beginning, fade out at the end, make the music match the, uh, delete the rest of the music, and fade the music out as well. Okay, here we go. I can't get the audio up, we can hear it. Oh, let me stop it. Let me set my project properties so that they're kind of a 16 by 9 Right here, 1280 by 720. Let's go to best. Oh, I'll point something else out too here. Right here in my preview mode, if I go to draft, uh, most everything runs really quick except for the high def files. They're still choppy on um, draft. And you can see the quality on the draft mode is really poor. And we'll, we can even go to best and they'll look good. Watch how smooth this is. that transition you would not even have seen that it would just go from one clip to the next there we go that's that and would the turn out to be 17 seconds okay here's the regular high def file and we'll even go down here to draft see it's really really choppy turn that down it's just really choppy and after you run it a few times it's unbearable to watch Absolutely no good. Okay, so I have done my ghost edit. I've made my files smaller. I've pulled those small files into the editor. I've made all my cuts, transition, uh, put music on it. It looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm going to save it. This is important. You have to save it and then shut it down. Um, ghost edit. I've done this once before to practice, as any good tutorial maker should. Save. I'm going to overwrite and close the project. And here comes the magic, the old switcheroo. Okay. I'm in the small video file. Now here is the two files that Sony makes. That's the reference files for these two from all the editing that I've done. I'm going to move these down here into the hold in case I want to use them later. I'll take the high def file. See, there's the one reference file, the SFK Sony made for this uh, high def file that I dragged in to show you how choppy it runs. Select those guys and I'm going to copy these down into the small video file folder. A little copy and verify that they're there. See? 13 and 14 meg. Open uh, Vegas back up. Okay, there is my project. I always like to reselect the region. Uh, let's check out the project properties, make sure that they're. Okay, it's on best. Um, 1280 by 720. Um, I'll leave this at 8-bit, it'll render faster. Okay, apply, all right. Go to render. And I'll render this out at 1280 by 720. Right here into the ghost edit folder, WMV. Everything looks good, okay, here we go. When I've done this before, it takes about two minutes, so I think I'll just do a quick edit and I'll see you in about two seconds. Alright, I can close this and we're done rendering. Let's go check out the file I made. And there it is in all its 1280 by 720 glory. There's my barn door transition. Should probably um, wipe out that license plate. Maybe I'll do it some other time. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. This is Joe Cubicle. Uh, look for more of my fantastic video blogs and my occasional tutorial. Any questions, just hit me on the YouTube email.